Well, I never heard back from him, but I did try and encourage him to do so. Did uh, me, and then uh, we'll let Jackie get settled, and then yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jackie? Yes, yeah. thank you. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'm going to call to order the meeting of the Merrimack Town Center Committee. This is uh, Jan uh, this is February this is excuse me, this is March. <laughs> March twenty ninth, uh, twenty nineteen, in the Matthew Thornton room. The uh, um, first order of business is to remind everybody to turn on their microphones when they're speaking and also to I need a minute taker and Jackie are you able to uh, I am able to you are able well we look forward to your minutes <laughs> once you. again so I'd appreciate it if you'd take the notes from this <laughs> meeting um, our first order of business today is oh it be, before we start, Bill has announced that he has to leave at twelve thirty, so we're gonna try and shorten this meeting or uh, Which Bill? What? Which Bill? Uh excuse me, Bill Wilkes. <laughs> Bill Wilkes. Bill Cummings is gonna hang in to the bitter end. I'll be asleep over here. That's and, uh, <laughs> the um, first order of business today is approval of the minutes of February the 15th and um, I put out some copies if you didn't get them by email although uh, we could have got oh we were being joined now by Matt Chevenel and that's excellent just Matt. started the meeting Matt so you know we're all set and I'm looking for approval of the minutes of March the 29th which were distributed electronically, and I've also got some hard copies floating around for those who, who don't have their email <coughs> accessible. Hmm. What is it, Karen? Oh, I just don't know why I didn't get them. I mean, oh, oh. Because I usually get everything. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go look harder. Okay. Well, you don't have to now. You've no, got a I copy don't, right there. Of except that I don't own. like missing out. I just, I just, oh. I want to check. But okay. Thank you. I, you know, you've got a, an email address in there that doesn't work. It's in my system, and I don't know how to delete it. I'm going to work on that. Is it uh, Merrimack Public Library? Is that email? That one works, right? No. It's MerrimackNewHampshire.gov that works. Okay. I may have sent it to the wrong email. Okay. 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 All right. So That's fine. It, it, don't fret. Would you, you don't prefer find that one? Well, that that one works. The, the I don't I don't have a library email anymore. Mm -hmm. All the trustees are under the town government. Government, now. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, and I have the same problem with Matt. Uh, Matt has yeah. one. Huh? Really? Yeah. Well, it's not you. It's that I have an old email <laughs> address. <laughs> an old email address in my file. This like. When I do your name, two or three come up, two or three email addresses. One of them is the one that works is the one that says SAU. 26.org, yes. Yeah. Matthew.chevenel okay. at SAU26.org. Yeah. That is the one. That's the one that works. That's Absolutely. the one I try and use. There's another one there that says New Hampshire kindergarten or oh the, 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 that's uh we still own that domain yeah. but it's merrimack.k12.nh.us yeah, yeah and we shorten the domain to sau26 yeah so sau26 is the preferred one thank you you're welcome you. all right that's interesting. i'll try i wish i could find a way to delete them from my system but yeah, I can't get yeah. Them when they come up put your cursor there and just backspace and it'll delete it. Yeah. Backspace. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll okay. we'll give that a go. When it when it comes up automatically, just yeah. click to the right of it. And then yeah. 
Okay. But if you want to delete a permit, you can go into your contacts. Oh, yeah. Contacts. And then take them out that way. Right. Uh, Right-click delete yeah. from the contacts yeah. section. Okay. Okay, if you would like some technical assistance, next meeting I will arrive here 20 minutes early. <laughs> you bring your computer, and we'll take care of that for you. Uh, let, you let me see if I can handle this okay. uh, based on your instructions. If not, we so could far. send somebody to your house if you <laughs> Whoa, that's service. Uh, <laughs> While he's there. While he's keep... there. <laughs> i got several other questions. He might be talking about a kindergartner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That's Which all right. Work in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll serve him some uh, uh, hot chocolate. Uh, uh, hot chocolate, right? <laughs> okay. Um, how, what's the status of the minutes review? We said anybody ready to review them and uh, to approve them? I would like a motion, please, so we can get them being the official I minutes. Move to Approve them as written. Thank you. Do we have a second? I'll second. 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 Bill Milk second. Okay. Uh, any discussion of the men, of the motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstaining? None. Abstaining. The minutes are. You're, you're, abstaining. You're I'm abstaining. Okay. You'll so note that in the minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the motion to approve. Okay, old business discussions. Um, we still have vacancies with the TCC. Every once in a while I run into somebody that says, oh, I'd like to join. And I say, come to our meeting, come to our meeting. And I, I, they aren't here yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, the um, planning board's NRPC study uh, it's all done as far as NRPC is concerned. This, this is the study for Route 3 end-to-end -end sidewalks, a master plan for sidewalks on Route 3 from Bedford to Nashua. And the reason that it's, and, and it's all done as far as NRPC is concerned, but we cannot get the state, we wanted the state to uh, sanction it, basically, review it before we adopted it on the planning board. And the state is just not, uh, uh, I think they just don't want to do it. <laughs> and uh, we're just not able to get a meeting with them. We've had uh, sent letters, we've sent letters copied to the commissioner, uh, the highway commissioner, and also we've sent letters to them from NRPC and from the town of Merrimack and uh, both. I'm sorry to interrupt. Not producing. But no, please the do. The longer I wait, the, the more you get into the story. Yeah. Is the highway commissioner the one who's in charge of? of She's in what? charge of the whole highway. To, yeah, the whole highway the system. The whole highway and sidewalks and. Yeah, everything to do with DOT. Like anything that says DOT on it is hers. Is yes. hers. And uh, we're looking for her to approve the concept of... of no, we're looking to her to get the guy who, <laughs> who, from District 5, who started this whole ball rolling by saying they wouldn't approve any more sidewalks on state roads until we had a master plan. Oh. Okay. okay. That was a letter went to the town and planning board. who was board. that person? What? Who was that person? Th that's, his name is Radowski, and I... I I don't have his first name right handy. That's all right. Yeah. He's with District 5. And the highway, state highway, has three or four major branches. There's a department of turnpikes. There's a department of District 5. And then there's another one that is in. There's a good chance it's Stanley. What? There's a good chance it's Stan Stanley. Stanley. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> not <laughs> not appropriate. Not appropriate. <laughs> not appropriate. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the end of that. I just report that we're still trying to get the state to approve it. The um, river, Sahigan River Trail. I spoke with Dawn this morning. She tells me the state is working on it now. They're back in the loop 
for a while they, we weren't getting any answers from them, but they are still looking to go out to bid in September or October this fall. They say fall. I should be more careful. That goes all the way up to December 21st, I think. But anyway, they're back in and working on it as uh, as we speak right now. And on what which project is that? This is the Sauhegan River Trail. Okay. Um, the O'Gara Drive sidewalk. Um, I think I report. I may have reported this mm -hmm. last time. Has been moved out one year to <clears throat> 2021 CIP. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that's still alive. Still alive. Right. Still alive. Okay. Absolutely. All right. The Winter Carnival. Yeah, Jackie, tell us about how good it was. Oh, it was. It yeah. was. It was a beautiful day, which I guess encouraged participation. And I think ice, I think there was a plenty of ice on the lake. Oh, and um, it um, had a huge participation, a thousand or so, I think. Yeah, so and over a thousand, according to Matt. Yeah, big, yeah. And they yeah. had activities outside, of course, and they had some inside, and all the vendors, you know, the lunch and stuff. It's a very nice event um, for all ages, really. Yeah. And um, we had a lot of. of people stopping by our table. Yeah. I, I'd say that we were pretty popular. I think it was less frenetic than the Halloween event. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I think people were looking for something interesting to catch their attention. Yeah, I think moving it was a good idea too. We were in with a lot of others. We weren't in a place where people felt they had to keep moving to get out of the I way. I agree, the, right there by the door. And was, we, yeah. it's drafty there too. Yeah, yeah. So that was another good I think that feature. was a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Did the maps get brought back? Are the maps back in the town hall? Yes, I brought cool. them back okay. uh, probably yeah. took, took me a few days. Okay, I just wanted to know. But, yeah. I, I went to check last night to see that they got, because um, Justin grabbed them from me to help. Yeah. And I, I, I assume he put them in there, but he might not have. I would think he would. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah. My <laughs> humble apologies. I had every intention of being there. I had five guys filling a 30-yard dumpster, and I just totally. <laughs> <laughs> we got done at like 1.30. I went home, and I said, oh, my gosh. It's over. Yeah. See, you were having too much fun. <clears throat> yeah. So I apologize for that. Okay. Thank you for the apology. <laughs> I think we handled it okay. Well, yeah. We, three people. We, three of us, and we had handout good. brochures and uh yeah. And uh, we were right next to con uh, the, was it the Horace Hill Committee we were next to or I, the I conservation? Was, yeah. Anyway, they were handing out brochures too. And, yeah. And uh, we talked trails yes. to each other. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, now, the um, additions for the TCC on the town website, I think. Bill was going to look into that, and I don't know. He's been Bill's been very busy this past month, uh, but maybe you could status us on that, Bill. Yeah, I still have to make make touch with uh, Lindsay D. Lorenzo at the high school, see if we can get get somebody to to do that. But anything that um, we want posted, Becky Thompson will see after it. Yeah, she'll post it on the town website. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, we'll talk a little more about that later because I think Bill had some other suggestions for us. I was hoping he would be here, Bill Sousa, when he talked oh, to us last Bill week. Sousa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, for new business, uh, we want to talk about our new uh, our additions for next year. Let me see if I can wrap up uh, anything else under here before we get into those discussions. Um, yeah, you just uh, status us on the uh, website, and um, the uh, I'll tell you about one other thing that's come to my attention is that the state of New Hampshire DOT, uh, through a consultant, is uh, putting out is having a workshop, an all day workshop, for uh, all the towns in New Hampshire. And one person from each town is allowed to go, 
and uh, it, they're talking about the, uh, establishing standards for crosswalks on state roads. You know how to how to design them, what kinds are going to be acceptable, and all of that. So I poked into it and found that our DPW was too busy to attend. So I said, I'll go. And so I'm on the hook. <laughs> All day. All just day. one day. Well, just one day. It's just one day. We should learn enough about <laughs> <laughs> crosswalks in one day to, <laughs> to last for the length of this committee. But I wanted you to know that that's coming up next month in April, and I'll be attending and reporting to you on what. Oh, what gosh. we learn, and maybe we'll get some literature. Yeah, every city we visit during the year, I make special notes yeah. in my mind on yeah. crosswalks. Yeah, yeah. I'm always looking at crosswalks. Well, good. Maybe you'd Washington, like to Washington, D.C. is good ones. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they should. They should, <laughs> for all yeah. those people they have. On. Yeah. This sounds yeah. about as good as the boat safety class that you have yeah. to take. Yeah. That's also lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and if you go, there's a test at the end. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, yeah, we did too. We did it. You did the boat class? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they talk about safety and all the things you're supposed to have with you. To we have a pontoon boat on Babuzik Lake that only goes to the boat shop, that's all it ever does. And we had to answer questions on the Piscataqua River with a big oil freighter coming in. Oh yeah, <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, despite the lack of Bill Sousa, who I wish was here, um, we can talk about um, <coughs> How we go forward? I, I I attended another interesting meeting. Yeah, it was the Rivers Council in, in the New Hampshire, the local advisory committees. As you know, I'm on the local advisory committee for two rivers, the Sahegan River and the uh, <clears throat> Merrimack River. And uh, one of the things that they have are exploring further and working on and finding success with is getting on what they call social media. If you want to get the word out on anything new you're doing nowadays, it's got to be on social media. Yes. Oh. And uh, I know, Karen, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and most of the people on these local advisory committees are, uh, I don't know who that is. Go ahead and take it. Oh, oh, it's it's probably take a it. Would you like a better credit card rate? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this isn't about your bill. <laughs> right. <laughs> Giving you an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, they have found success with going to social media. They now have accounts on Twitter and on and on, uh, and on uh, Facebook. And you can put groups on Facebook and, and that sort of thing. And they've had success with it in getting interest in people. And uh, it just communicates to a whole different group of people than we're accustomed to. Even though, uh, and I will say that most of the people on these river advisory committees are kind of retirees like me yeah. that kind of look at you funny when you say you want a Twitter account. But <laughs> but uh, that's that's the direction that things are going, and I think it kind of lines up with what Bill Sousa talked to us about last time he was here, when he was talking about getting getting some young people involved who would be willing to set up an account like that for us. Unfortunately, they're in school, and once they graduate or something, they go elsewhere. But well, that would be okay. Yeah. You know, I think, Nelson, part of our um, problem is too much success in town. We have the Horse Hill Committee. We have the Conservation Commission. Mm -hmm. We have, um, we had Watson Park. What else do we have? Um, we don't have a Greater Woods. Well, parks and, and Parks and Recreation. Recreation. So those are all... 
um, very attractive places for yeah. a, a younger, a young married family to yeah. um, participate in. Yeah. Perhaps more than us that are concerned with um, grants and paths, yeah. trails and sidewalks. I'm not sure. They don't. They they might ha think that they have more of an opportunity to go out and uh, with an axe into the woods on the conservation yeah. commission. Yeah, yeah. They have more to show. I think once we get something to show for our activities, we'll we should have some better success. But um, this is what they say. This is what was their advice. They were talking, of course, rivers and how to get your local river on a. Mm -hmm. uh, on a site and all of that, and I thought, gee, that pretty much applies to what we're trying to do. Sure. And getting the word out, getting <clears throat> people come by the booth, they say, oh, I never heard of you guys. And lots of them, and these are young families mostly now with kids and so on. Well, I think, I think I, I've i been a SCORE counselor now for 13 years, score, yeah. and we have a monthly meeting, and yeah. of course we meet with clients yeah. regularly and it's definitely proven that social media is the place to be <laughs> for marketing yeah. your product or services uh -huh. so if you look at it from that standpoint we're trying to market a product sort of yes and people do i mean they google everything now i i, I yeah. personally google i probably googled three times already this morning yeah. And I'll probably Google a few more times this afternoon. I did too to find right. out the Red Sox score. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's what I, I mean, <laughs> so I think. <laughs> we saw the end of the game. And <laughs> I think we're missing out if we don't take advantage I, of that medium. Yep, I think you're right, Bill. But, and, yeah. I, and I would think, I mean, I have, a, I have a niece in Concord, Mass, that probably, she's very busy, so I don't want to. Yes. Um, offer her services, but my point is she's an 11th grader and she could set up a website, she could probably get us on a Google address, and yeah. so there's gotta be somebody at the high school, maybe Matt, you would know. Yeah. There, there's more than one, I'm sure, of kids yeah. that if we could, maybe the Rotary Interact Club or somebody that would be willing to help us out. Yeah. I mean, setting, I, I, I'm personally, I probably could do it if I took a long time to figure it out, but I have a website for a piece of property, and my daughter's significant other set it up for me in about an hour, and it's pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. Yeah. So, I mean, this isn't like rocket science anymore. I know. <laughs> it is to me, but uh, it, it seems people are doing it. I, I mean, like I, think, I think... If we solicited somebody in the high school, yeah, and maybe they could get a grade out of it. Well, maybe. Maybe they have like know. a. Do they have a media or a communications class or? Oh, absolutely. Something like that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Could we? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody work with us and get a, a grade out of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can make an inquiry. Okay. Would like you? That. Would you make an inquiry on our yeah. behalf? On absolutely. On behalf of this group to. Tell them our needs and uh, yeah. see what they would suggest. Uh, I'd be the one thing I'd be concerned about is the transition in high, in schools. Kids keep moving on, and we need some way of gluing this to the next generation and uh, right. something like that, so that it doesn't uh, graduate in June. Graduate in after June we've got and go this. away. Yeah. yeah. Well, suggest you you get a freshman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So for he four or she years. can stay with the project for at least four years, yeah. or you know, at least be guided. I was thinking Lindsay D. D. Lorenzo. Yeah, Dilo. Yeah, Dilo. Yeah, because she's in tech ed, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she might know somebody. And it, it'd be it'd be nice to have um, um, just kind of a little outline, some talking point as to what what you'd be looking for precisely. Okay. So there would be no misunderstanding. We're not talking anything heavy duty, but just some bullet points of mm -hmm. what you'd like yeah. to see. Yeah. And how you'd like it to be. Do you want to interact with people? Do you want to have the ability to have make have people make comments and then 
A lot of questions. A lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's well, just some, but, you okay. know, from a basic structure point, you know, what are yeah. the items you, you would be looking for out of this? Yeah. I mean, if you're talking just a, like nothing big, you know, search yeah. engine optimization and all that keywords, you know, yeah. those are some of the buzzwords. Yeah, they, they I mean, that. we would like, like to have trails and, and walking paths in Merrimack, New Hampshire. So if somebody Googles Oops. trails in Merrimack, New Hampshire, Hampshire. Yeah. yeah, it's going to pop up. Yeah. And they're going to find, you know, all these different trails and so forth. So, yeah. you know, that's the content piece of it. Yeah. But the keywords are what you get to get you to the content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, isn't that called website optimization? SEO, search, search engine, search engine opti optimization. Yeah, okay, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. But it, I think it'd be important. I think it'd be great to have that. Yeah, I think so. I so, like I said, a little bit, a piece of uh, you know, an email to me, a little blurb of. You know what you would like to show for as far as content goes and and whatnot. Just just to get us off the the dime, I could definitely make a connection with that and see. I talked to Sharon uh, at the high school uh, first uh, to see, but yeah, I think that's doable. Yeah. Worth a shot. I, I bet you there's also like people could, would like to know like where can I where can I cycle and save places to cycle in Merrimack. That'd be another yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, this is a route that's fairly safe, you know. Anywhere instead of going down Lake <laughs> Road. Really? Yeah. What's that? Anywhere but Babuzik Lake Road. Anywhere yeah. but. Anywhere yeah. but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you know those signs that say three feet, please, it's the law? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think, where's my the three feet going to come from? <clears throat> well, that's. The challenge when you have mirrors on your truck, you oh, stick yeah, out yep, eight or ten <laughs> inches at least. Yes, so now you've lost 20 inches just because of your mirrors, and the road's <laughs> only 22 feet, <laughs> wide. <laughs> and you got two cars. Yeah, mm -hmm. another thing you should all know about you remind me the uh, National Regional Planning Commission working with the state. This, oh, I told. Did I tell you about the statewide bike ped plan? There's one in the process that got a contractor working on it. And uh, his job is to uh, make a statewide bicycle plan. Now, mm. that's like huge. And um, I don't know. Who is this person? What? Who is this person? I don't person? remember the name well, of the person. What, what uh, agency is he with? Uh, I'll get. He's a contractor working for the Department of Transportation, okay. New Hampshire Department of Transportation, and I will get you. Um, you. Email me and remind me, because it's good to have that on record as to who it is, and I didn't, uh, I didn't capture it at the time. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, but uh, anyway, the regional planning is now reviving some of its master plan bicycle for the whole region and bicycle and pedestrian, I should say. And uh, they had a meeting this past week, which I, I am the Merrimack representative to the regional planning bike ped plan. And um, we did talk about um, bicycling mostly in the Nashua region, but still, you know, which roads are good and which roads aren't so good. We've got to guy from Goodale's there who does a lot of bicycling and uh, he knows knows a lot about these roads and how they are now and mm -hmm. what they wish they would have and this is all going into a big master plan that I don't think will ever get implemented between you and me but at least it's a it's a plan if the opportunities arise with different uh, bikes uh, biking from you know, from here to the Pepperell Bike Trail, for instance, and here to Milford, and connecting ma major towns. Here in southern New Hampshire, it's pretty obvious where you might want to go, but as you get further north, it gets more sparse. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. I hate to put my legal hat on. I do have to leave, but is there any issues with liability? Like if we said, hey, 
if we said you need to bike, the best bike path would be to go down Amherst Road to this road to the next road, and then somebody gets hit, would they ever come back to us and say, well, you said that was a safe bike path? I don't know. I don't. I don't believe so. Um, yeah, you know. Is that, optim or, is that optimization uh, element mean you should have the right uh, name for people looking for whatever, like trails are? Oh, you mean the, the um, probably the first one. keyword? Yeah, mean, keyword. Keywords. Yeah. Like trails for hikes and bikes. Mm -hmm. Or what about well, adding a disclaimer to the site? I mean, there's already yeah, already yeah. people that know a lot about this. I I have friends that go over to. Uh, it's not Horse Hill, I don't think. The one off Am Amherst Road. Horse Hill. Horse Hill. Yeah. Horse Hill. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They go over there and they have these bikes with these fat tires. Yeah, and they that place is busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I and mean, I don't, I don't. I've yeah. walked in there a little bit on a couple of occasions, but you go by there on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cars. There's a lot there. of cars yes. in the yeah. lot. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, some maybe we're getting off the town center here, but you know, something like that in, on the website. <clears throat> I don't know how many. You know how far we want to attract people from and, and from other towns or whatever, but. Yeah, I just mentioned that for your background information. I don't think I don't think we want to get out of the town center. I don't think we're supposed to get out of the town center. But by the our things charter. that but the things yeah. that could have a destination to the town, like Wildcat Cat Falls, yeah, where you would go to trails and you could have a destination to the that town would tie in with it. That yeah. would make sense, I yeah. think, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, on their plan. I don't I don't think it affects our plan. Well, I mean, if they aren't we the town center, so if you can come from Wildcat Falls and get to Watson Park, wouldn't that be something we would want to promote? Well, that's what promote? We're, we're doing, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we would want to promote that on our website. or Oh, promoting it on the website, yes. Yeah, I think <laughs> our website, when we get it up and running, will include all of our maps and all of our... Trail maps and all of our wishes for the future. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Trails for hikes and bikes. Okay. Bill, thank you hey, Bill, for your thank you. Yeah. yeah. See you guys later. For coming by. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Suggest suggestion that we we talk with Becky or somebody at the town to find out about barriers to entry, you know, what what we're up against in terms of, you know, what it what it can say, what it can't say, those those kinds of things, the, the legal mumbo jumbo, and then yeah. find somebody who can, as Matt asked, you know, you give them a bullet points of this is what we're looking for, you know, uh, search engine optimization. We're looking for um, maybe a Facebook page for the town center committee, because I see one on here for Hubbardston, Massachusetts. Yeah. We're not near there, I don't think. No. But, um, you know, I think, I think we need to find out what the, what the restrictions are for, from the town because we're not, we're not our own entity. Well, that's true. I, I just don't see the barriers. What I was going to suggest was that I put together a list like Matt had asked for and mm -hmm. circulate it to the committee here. Mm -hmm. uh, just to get uh, started and off the dime on it and, uh, and uh, let everybody make their inputs and then let Matt take it to the school and see who he can, he can work with. I don't see us getting into liability issues, Bill, with this. I, I mean, it just, I just can't see that as a, as a barrier to right. doing what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't think... I, I don't believe that unilaterally we can just start creating things on the World Wide Web if we're, if we're okay. not, you know, we're, we're technically under the, the town okay. council. Right? Okay, I, I get that. Yes, that's, that's worth checking out. Yes. I'd rather do that before we spend a lot of energy on, in directions we shouldn't be going. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, we could even get the town council to approve it as a piece of our, I'll have to reread our charter, make sure that it fits in there, and then I can verify it with the council mm -hmm. and make sure they're okay with it, if that's your concern. And the I town manager that, might be, the yeah. town manager is in a, yeah. as our boss, <laughs> really, yeah, and that's not, right. the, not the council. Well, but we'll the town put, manager would yeah. say, go to the council. Yeah. If yes, the to. town manager probably will say go to the council, but we're going to start with the town manager. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, the other thing, that would give us some good publicity. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I will take an action item to go and get that started and I'll get some things out to you after that. Uh, so the, the process would be to, uh, to verify with the, verify our ability to create these uh, social media. By the way, where is NRPC now? They moved. They moved. Oh yeah. They moved. They're no, in, Temple Street. They're in the Pink Elephant. On, oh, the Pink Elephant. <laughs> yes, they're on the third floor of the Pink Elephant. Yeah, on Temple Street in Nashua. Oh, Nashua. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, what everybody knows about. who that is yeah. <laughs> by that name. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was the old Indian Bank. Indian oh yeah, bank Indian Head. Yeah. That, yeah. That originally. yeah. Yes. Yes, that's where they are. They just uh, got in there. Getting first day, I got myself a parking ticket, but I think I <laughs> got them. <laughs> well, if you don't park, they have certain places that are reserved for them in parking, and that's the lot that's up on Temple Street, the high lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. if you go there, you should park there and not in one of the lower lots because those are reserved for other people or whatever. I went back. You must... Oh, well. well, it's been a while since I've been there. It's not, not back where it used to be. It's in the Pink Elephant. It's yeah, but I only know one parking lot for the Pink Elephant building. Oh. There must be some in back. The one you know is probably the right one okay. to use, the one that's most visible, and yeah. it's up on Temple Street. Yeah. I went down below because I thought it was the lower parking lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I got a ticket there. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So, all right, I think we can make this move along a little bit. And uh, we'll see uh, if we can make something happen and give Matt a little more time to think, to, to prime his pump over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> to see if, yeah. Okay. Uh, any other projects uh, we want to talk about for, for 2019? It says 2018 on the agenda, but I think it's too late for that. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're still planning to do the 4th of July was the next thing that was on my uh, agenda. We probably don't need to talk about that just yet, but I understand the 4th of July is back in, in uh, circulation. The, the Rotary is going to take it on. I think I may have said last time that the Rotary wasn't going to do it. I think they were having trouble getting volunteers, but... They were going to do the pancake breakfast, but not the midway. Well, they're going to do the midway now. Wow. That's such so, a big job. Yeah. Such a big That's job. huge job. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Um, Karen, is the library going to do it? You don't know yet. I don't know yet. We've yeah. been doing it, but we had a couple of years where um, it was very hot and not very many people came, and so we kind of backed out of it. And... I don't know whether we're planning on doing We're definitely going to be in the parade. The library's definitely going to be in the oh. parade. We're always in the parade. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. Um, as far as being on the midway and, and in the afternoon, yeah. before, in between the parade and the fireworks, yeah. um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'll let you know when, as soon as I find out. But, yeah. Is the library booked for the parade? Uh, probably. That's his pun. 
<laughs> Booked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay. I, I didn't go that direction. I know. I, I, I could tell you were taking him seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Booked. Got yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took me okay. a minute. We've, uh, I think we said we were going to support the pancake breakfast with one of these tables like we did last year, and mm -hmm. we won't need to man it or staff it continually. And that's, uh, I think that's still, we're still on for that. That that good. Yeah. 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 They have plenty of brochures for people. You just have brochures and uh, people do you think people stopped yeah last year? They took the brochures, I know yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh the uh farmers market I haven't heard from uh them yet, but at some point, we'll have a schedule. They'll probably be on Wednesdays again at the vault, I believe, and the turkey shoot. Turkey shoot's going to happen in November. Yeah. yeah. And then this creation of a Facebook or website, we just talked about that. We've got to make that move along. And when's our next meeting going to be? That's a really good April question. is the month. If we want to do it in April, there's only four Fridays in April. And uh, the 26th is the last one. That happens to be Arbor Day. Oh, mm -hmm. that's appropriate. Yeah. Um, the 19th is, I'm not, a, I'm that's, going out of town. That's Good Friday. That's Good Friday. Mm -hmm. and, and Passover, beginning yeah. of Passover. But yeah. that wouldn't affect morning meeting probably mm -hmm. well yeah i'm going to new york that weekend so okay. me too so, you oh, you to new york? yeah yeah watch out at I sundown i'll go why if I you're driving so into new york city <laughs> i won't be driving new york. i'm passover <laughs> oh yeah oh. <laughs> yeah they all want to get home everybody's leaving yeah <laughs> all the jewish people are leaving yeah. the city yeah, yeah. Well, to I'll, get home i'll actually already be there by Friday, so. Me too, I'll be there work. Thursday. Yeah. We nice. were caught in that once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or we can go into May, actually. If we'll, maybe we'll have uh, some material to discuss by that time. By April 26th. Shall I put April 26th down? Yeah, that, you know, one thing about the 26th is that we can maybe skitter over May and have June, and yeah. then in the summer we always have a shorter schedule, yeah. too. Yeah. That might work out well at the end of April. Okay. Everybody That's happy good. with that? Well, I will not be here on the 26th in Canada. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. All right, there's Meeting a problem. Some folks from Holland. What? Some oh, some nice. Oh, from Holland. oh, are they're, they're coming? Organizing the uh, oh, these are people. Anniversary of, uh, yeah. Veteran Victory in Europe Day. Yeah. So, next year. What oh, about we May 3rd? How tools. about May 3rd? I don't want you few okay years with May 3rd? We can easily year. put it over a week to May 3rd. Yeah. Uh, I may not be back by then either. Okay. Yeah. He's uh, probably going to be laid up for a while and we don't know when. Who is? What? Peter. Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't hear that bit in the mix. What happened to you? I have to get fixed again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work the first time? Yeah, yeah. They didn't see it. Oh, it worked? Oh. It's another aneurysm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They couldn't see it. It was down below. It's an abdominal one. Yeah. This one, yeah. they can just go right um, in. Laparo yeah. surgery, I think you yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be too bad, but well, but you don't know when. Uh, no, they they they're not going to schedule it till all their prep is over. Yeah, yeah. Doctors are like that. Yeah. Well, I don't think we really have anything pressing other than um, this website, the that's, social uh, that's media the stuff. Yeah, really? yeah. So, oh, what what do you say about the seventeenth of May? I'm okay with that. If we can put it off till then, if that's the best time to get everybody together, I'd like to have everybody here. Yeah, of course, it's because it's so long without it. If it, yes. we have to miss you, so <laughs> let's let's do May seventeenth. May seventeenth. I can do that. Go ahead. Of course.
course. The weather will be nice. Yeah. Yes. Have We're starting to outside. lose our schedule with the school by that time. Nice. Well, I'll bring a picnic lunch and we go down to the gazebo. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. We, what had a, nice we had a meeting at the gazebo Did once you? when Peter was chairman of this committee. Yeah. He had a meeting at the gazebo when it was first built. Do you remember? Oh, the yeah, pagoda or whatever, the pavilion. Oh, yeah. The book. Do you remember that? <laughs> I prefer people call it the pavilion. The pavilion, okay. <laughs> All right. The With pavilion. one L or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it depends on the weather, actually. It's sure. not really. This is a much yeah. better place, and we get it recorded for posterity. True enough, yeah. it's true. But they have a police camera down by the, the uh, Abbey Griffin. <laughs> oh, that's cool. They all show up. Oh, so we could act up? Sure. The no, police like, yeah. And then get on tape for sure. It, 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 <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How has the ice skating rink worked out? Does anybody I know? I guess okay. We walked down once or twice, and uh, it w wasn't being used, and it was a weekend. But yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's being used at times. Yeah. That we don't notice that. Have you? I haven't any noticed. To I it? have never seen no, anyone on it, but that day. doesn't mean. What's that? The ice wet rink? Yeah. At, uh, it, has Watson? it been used? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's, it was kind of a hit or miss winter. Yeah. Well, you know? It was. Yeah. Yeah. It was. As far as ice is concerned. Yeah, yeah I, know, I did notice the other day that it's kind of being gathered up. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think they're done with it now, yeah. except for this water pipe. That's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. When I think of how we fought for everything at the beginning, <laughs> it's turned out nice. It yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing they haven't resolved is this uh, is this skateboard park, right? Right. It's, it's the still... school will have to. Yeah. Has the school been working on that? The skateboard park. No, we're our, the agreement we have is just to to leave it there. The to town leave. made some um, improvements to it. There was some um, yeah. repairs that need to be done to to it. Um, actually, a while, a while back, Paul McCallie and I met with Primex, our insurance carrier, and they went through it and they uh, did a little diagnostic of it. And there was some skate light panels that needed to be replaced, and the town's taking care of that. Yeah. So as far as I know, you know, it's it's staying right there until the town relocates it or comes up with another location. Okay. Yeah. So it's there, it's available. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not sure if Justin can hear, but I, I think our meetings are gonna be on YouTube. They have a YouTube channel for the for the town now. So our meetings these meetings. Mm-hmm. Oh, is yeah. That right? Is yeah. that right, Justin? Yeah. Yeah. So. That means it won't be on Channel uh, 20 anymore? Oh, I think it will be that, but we can, we can go in and look at them on demand. Oh, oh yeah, they're all, they're all uh, if you go to MerrimackTV.gov, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're all there listed. And I believe YouTube is the uh, vehicle which hosts them. Right. But they're all there in order. You can look at everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're set for May 17th until further notice. And meanwhile, okay. I'll try and I'll send you some stuff by email. Maybe we can <coughs> move it along a little bit that way. Okay. So uh, I'd, if there's anything else anybody would like to bring up. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we can have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Bill Cummings. Seconded by. Peter Floyd. Peter Flood, <laughs> Vice Chair Flood. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Any opposed to the motion? Any abstaining? None. We are adjourned. You may, you may shut off.